Hey yo, hey yo, it's your boy Monster Man Rocco. It's your boy Swagger Rock. This is Snack Ripper. And you have to go to go know. Master Ace. You are not rocking with the best. Breaking Records Radio. Breaking Records, man. Breaking Records Radio. Breaking Records Radio. Breaking Records. Breaking Records. Breaking Records Radio. Let's go. Breaking Records Radio. Breaking Records Radio. Breaking Records Radio. Breaking Records, man. Radio is like the place to be. I don't know. Fuck strange music, man. <laughs> Breaking Records Radio. I got Louis Ox Rankin, the Don Dada, sitting right beside me. What up? What up? What, what up, up, man? What up, what up? You Glad good? you could come by. Yeah, man. It's T Dot, right? Yeah, man. We changed it, though. It's yeah. like, it's like Ice T City now. Yeah. 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 So you know what it is? Know what it is. Uh, All right. What up? Yeah. So I've seen you uh, coming around here recently, you know, with the uh, with the roast, and you got the uh, with the shows you're doing, JD Era, and uh, I, you see you did a photo shoot with Kush McCloud. Uh, you want to explain what you, like uh, you're doing promotion for a CD that you got coming up, right? Well, right now, what it is is that you know I mean my success because you already know that movie is the highest level in entertainment. Mm -hmm. So as a ghetto youth. I rise from the ghetto, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like two back, biggest smalls, but mm -hmm. they never live. But I've been that same road with them and I'm still alive, you know? Yeah. And I still making success. So first I'll give God thanks for that. Yeah. Because if all my acting, whatever I do, I'm real with it. It's not like really acting, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I act what I live mm -hmm. and what the street live. Because the street is what made me become who I am and the millionaire who I am. But it's not about all the money and all that. No. But to be honest with you, what I'm doing right now in Canada, which is my home, a lot of people don't know because I live in New York City. Mm -hmm. But this is where I'm really from. Jamaica really? was my birthland. I came here, my mom lives here. My nieces, nephews, daughters, kids, everybody live in really? Canada. So T that is my home. So now we create it, man. It's too much tea now. Yeah, yeah. It's ice. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? So, cause this motherfucker is ice. Yeah. yeah, man. It's ice, yeah. So what I'm doing is music right now. And uh, the movie's already done. I have three movies coming out right now. Can you speak on them at all? Um, yeah. Um, the first movie that's gonna be released is called um, We Run These Streets and it's produced by Easy Mac Entertainment which is a part of a production company in Canada. Okay. Um, Kamikaze is the CEO for it, um, which I know him, mm -hmm. collaborate with him and we did the movie. We did scenes of it in Trinidad, you know, and he was so bad about that movie because one of the actors when we went to Trinidad to do a scene in it got shot and killed by police, mistaken. Really? Yeah. And a good friend of mine, you know, but, yeah. you know, shit happens, so what are we gonna do, you know? Life have mm -hmm. to go on, you know what I mean? R.I.P. Yeah, R.I.P. His name is Crime in the movie. Okay. So um, his character played Crime. Then um, I have another movie that's gonna be releasing called We Run These Streets. But my br biggest project right now is me and H, which is where to go at um, group mm -hmm. promotion and my partner right here. Um, we put a movie together, it's called Ice City. Mm -hmm. That's why I keep mentioning this Ice, because yeah. this movie gonna be like another belly, yeah. but above belly. Yeah. So we're trying to make it like above belly. And you already know what. Man, belly. when I fucking watched Belly for the first time, I had to like I watched that thing like on repeat for like a month straight, probably, man. Like you know, like that shit was so tight when it came out when I found out about it, man. Like, cause it was already done for probably years before I found out about it. Yeah. What, what year was it done in? Belly was done in '98. '98. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It released the end of '98. I've probably seen it. But it's still the biggest movie right now. Yeah. I'm right? still, I'm still getting money, crazy money off. Yeah, it's insane, man. Shout out to DMX. Yeah, shout out to DMX. Yeah, what up, man? Uh, Nas. Nas, my nigga, what's up? Yeah, yeah. man. Yeah. So, well, yeah, man, Welty Boys, man. We out here, Artillery Entertainment, no, that's my company. With my partner right here, man. And, you know what I mean? The government talking about some of y'all coming. I would love to have you over here, X-Men, but you gotta stay your ass out of jail, nigga. Stop. 
doing the shit you're doing, man. I Big up to all the Americanos, but right now, I see the time right now. My dog Ox right here taking over Canada by the storm, you know what I mean? World to boy movement, high city, mm. our city. No yeah. matter what you're doing out here, no matter what talent you have out here, come mess with us. We'll bring you to success. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, all right, so I got a question actually about that. Uh, did you, Nas, DMX, or Method Man ever end up doing any songs after Belly? Well, it was the song that Sean Paul in yeah. Vegas in is a history. I, you know, I'm gonna take my glass off and shit on that. Yeah. Um, when we finished the scenes in Belly, I was supposed to go to Jamaica mm -hmm. to do the scene down there. You know what I mean? Nas was supposed to come down, but Nas didn't come. Mm -hmm. But DMX went to Jamaica, but I flew to Canada because my documents is for Canada. Yeah. And I lost them. Really? So then they tell me that I have to go to Jamaica, but I knew that if I have to go to Jamaica, I have to head back to Canada right away to re get back my documents. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, I came over this motherfucker and get locked up the night before I go and get on the fucking plane, man. No. No passport. And I had no passport. Fuck. I had no passport, no driver's license, no fucking ID. Fuck, eh? That's why we did the song Brick Day. No passport. You heard it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it have a lot of meaning to it. But I'm going to tell you what happened. I got locked up. Um, artists and entertainment, one of the biggest company in Hollywood, okay. going nuts now because I was the Scarface in the movie. Mm -hmm. So if I don't get to Jamaica, the movie is totally fucked. Yeah, they locked me up, and I'm, you know, but it was for a warrant, a long time ago, that yeah, yeah, for yeah. A half a spliff. Oh, fuck. That police tell me to come to court. They yeah, charged yeah, me because yeah. I was back in the fucking eighties, when I was young, young and. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I pull over and they found I have a split in the fucking car. Mm -hmm. So they locked me up. And I said, fuck this. I ain't go to court. I just go back to America. Mm -hmm, exactly. Forget yeah. about it. Thought it was over with. Mm -hmm. Man, they had a warrant on me for half a fucking split. Oh, yeah. No, that's Ice City, ain't it? Ice. So, <laughs> <laughs> so I'm, got, I'm like, what the fuck, man? They owe me in jail. They locked me yeah. up Friday. They kept me there till Monday morning. Yeah, man, I know. DMX, Ike Williams, the old artists and crew and belly squad yeah. is in Jamaica waiting for me to get there on Friday. Crazy. I didn't get there till Monday though. But I did. Yeah. And it was a drama. When I get to court, they take me from jail, take me to court. And the judge released me right away because there's a plane leaving in 45 minutes. Yeah. I have my brother drove his car. 100 on about 40 miles an hour, 50 miles an hour to the airport. Yeah. 45 minutes from the court downtown on Queen Street. Yeah. And I get to the airport and it was 15 minutes and they told me my luggage cannot get on, but we can get you on because I'm first class. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. I just throw out everything and just go on the plane just as I am. Yeah. And I make it. And that's belly. Yeah. That's belly, right? That's there. insane. Yeah. What, what, what scenes did you shoot right after that when you landed? Um, the scene where I take DMX to the dance and the girl yeah, shake yeah, her yeah, ass. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, I tell yeah, him yeah. that the dick gonna stand up like a, a rock wilder. Yeah. That was the scene we shoot right there. And the scene after that was the scene we shoot when I have him in the car, we smoke, you know, and yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. Well, and that man. was better, yeah. And it become the biggest movie ever. It's a black Scarface. It's yeah. insane, man. So how did you and Hype Williams uh, initially connect for Belly? Like, had he reached out for you, or uh, reached out to you, or did you have to audition for the role? No, I did not, because Hype Williams know me way before time yeah. Belly. If you look into my history when I'm doing music, I won the Grammy Award for a song called Typewriter. Mm -hmm. Hype Williams was the one that did that. Now I have that right here. I got yeah. your, your single, uh, yeah. Typewriter, was produced by the Trackmasters. Yeah, Trackmasters. It's an early production of yeah. uh, theirs. How did you guys uh, actually link up? And uh, could you predict it in 92 that those guys would go on and produce as many hits as they did? And they the biggest production company. I was the f one that burst them. Yeah. That's why everything that my hand touches, it becomes diamond. Yeah. Fuck platinum. Yeah. Diamond. Because Trap Masters was nobody until they did typewriter. If you look into mm -hmm. the history, 
yeah. and they become the biggest production company ever yeah. in history. Yeah, in it's insane. Yeah, yeah it's insane. How do you got? That's diamond right there, that's gold. You know what I mean? I'm going to ask Americanos one thing, man. We keep our money over here, dog. You know what I mean? You got to make a hundred million, it's gone. You make a hundred million over here, we get it all tax free. Canada, we love this country. <laughs> I love it too. You love this country, I man. Love it. I love keep Canada. Our money. It's my own. I love 50 it. 50 million, man. We keep that over here, man. Government, it's my own. thank you. You guys treat us good over here, man. We love Canada, man. Remember that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah we don't have no half over here. Yeah. We keep. So they give just, us our money. You yeah. just did the uh, the roast. Yeah. How did that happen? Like, whose idea was that? Like, It was kind of funny. It was Jewel's idea. Uh, yeah, my assistant. Shout out Jules. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, Jules, you know. Come in, Jules. Come in. Uh, 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 yeah. Um, she um, have a lot of idea. Yeah. She have a lot of idea. She, the first time I met Jules, it was a big show that I appear at, um, like a surprise appearance mm -hmm. um, in Barry. And that show was Method Man and Red Man which they my friends and um I end up showing up at the show, you know, you mm -hmm. know, you know, promoters and stuff, they collaborate with me and say show up. And I showed up, you know, me and met and um I met her. She was one of the promoters for the concert. So she yeah. do she do a lot of major stuff, you know. I mean mm -hmm. it's best for her to explain more about herself than me. But I like I said, I love her work. She do a lot of work for me and that's why my thing is out there like that. Exactly. She did a lot of it. You're the one pushing everything behind the scenes. For sure. Awesome. The Canadian money. Yeah. 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 <laughs> the roast came about because he wanted to do the show for his birthday. Yeah. Because last year he did a show uh, that was more of a party. Yeah. And he also did a major show in, in Jamaica for his birthday a couple years ago. Yeah, so, so it was a show to too, right? Yeah. 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 So it was basically, we wanted to do something different, and people and love comedy, so yeah. we guess what we wanted you're to do. You're a fan of the roast, then? I sure am, yeah, yeah especially right. the Flavor Flav yeah. roast, and, you know, I showed him some of the roast, and he thought at first he wasn't too keen on it, and then... I want <laughs> that shit, because I'm saying they're going to talk shit about me, you know, guess yeah, is all right. I'm just saying. You know, uh, I wish there was a video of it. Uh, I seen I a couple pictures. We have it. We do yeah. have a video of it. It's being, it's being yeah. So it's being right done and being, being put out. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. So one I'll guy, one it. guy. Um, you remember the guy that came and he went on stage and the fucking guy. Can I curse? Yeah. This motherfucker came on stage and he says that I get my jewelry from Dan's New Flea Market, and then he says Louis Rankin stays in his mom's basement. Who's this? It was one of the. It's a rose. So, oh yeah, okay. <laughs> but you know, I hold it. I hold it. I'm trying to let you know. I didn't get mad. There was some yeah, funny stuff. Cause yeah, the place yeah. was dying. Yeah. And then the fucking guy turned around. What did he say again? He looked at me and he says, "Yes, Kanye Louis Rankin is a Grammy Award winner. He won the Grammy for Typewriter. And Louis Rankin is at the level of Kanye West. Yeah." But the only difference between Kanye West and Louis Rankin, Louis Rankin win one Grammy. Kanye West win uh, Kanye West win twenty five Grammy. Yeah. But Louis Rankin got twenty five kids that not even living in his house. <laughs> it was so funny. There were some funny jokes. It was some funny one joke. John Joe saying he's so black his blood type soy sauce. Yeah. He's so old, his face is on the food stamp. <laughs> a lot of jokes. We don't take so jokes pretty. around here, man. Wow. Yeah. It's a rose. Yeah. But yeah. this was a little yeah. bit yeah. different. That has, that has to stand. Yeah. Because we can't, he, he had a microphone we can't and that. he was roasting everybody well, really back along with it. Well, really, I'm chewing history. Oh, you roasting everybody back then. Man. I roast him back. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I told that yeah, same yeah, guy, yeah, I, when he finished, I said, you did good, man. But make sure you get home, tell mommy I'll be home later, okay? Yeah. That shut him the fuck up. <laughs> yeah, mommy, I tell your mama I'll be home later. So you never look anywhere in the world with that. Yeah. They're not there. It was more of a more than just a roast too. We also had uh, Fire Kid Steeny, Black Stun the Place, DJ Shout White out. Boy. Yeah. That came through and and performed. No, they DJ for his party. Oh yeah, okay. Put some music out for yeah, all yeah. the fans. And then we had some performers too, JD Era, 
um, Kush McLeod performed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was supposed to be there that night, but I actually had another show. I forget what show it was. It was a good night. It was, there was lots of stuff I know, I on. wish I was able to get, I forget what show it was, but... Um, if you had to pick between music or movies, and you can only have one of them for the rest of your life, what would you go with? Now, at my age, I would say movie. movies. Movies? Because if I go back to movie, that means I'm reversing. If you go back to... If I go to music, if yeah. I choose music over yeah. movie at my level, yeah. I would be going backwards. Exactly. Because, remember, movies. movie uh, the is the top, so... That mean I leave the top, choose music, but if it's not for money, yeah. I will choose music. Yeah, eh? If it's not for money. Yeah. Are you actually the roughest, toughest blood clot Jamaican in all of the United States? They call it, yeah. <laughs> you know what? It's not just the United States. I am the world general. Yeah. I'm the roughest, toughest bomba clot throughout the whole white blood clot world. Yeah. I have done this, I run the streets, I have been locked up, I have been charged for murder, I have been charged for cocaine, I have been charged for heroin, I have been charged for distribution, I have been charged for smuggling guns. <laughs> if you I will still history, keep a shooter in the back. I'm telling you right now, I'm telling you all my history right now, I was locked up. I've been tried for murder three times and I was found not guilty by oh, jury. Fuck. You understand? I have been in the federal penitentiary and I walked out of there. When I, the first time when I walked out of my first downfall by the government, yeah. that's when I did typewriter. And it became the biggest hit. Yeah. And I made over $1.6 billion, million, million, my bad. 1.6 million dollars from Warner Brothers for that song and that put me on my feet and I just say yo this is what I gotta do I must be blessed yeah don't give them too much doors you kids know, stay in school yeah now listen to me you <laughs> know what I mean this is my life rich money and I just want people to know and, yeah. and I want kids to do whatever I do now they're supposed to learn from the time that I'm living in now yeah don't live in the time that I came that from able, because yeah. it don't work. Yeah. See, you know, don't fall. I'm, and I'm here to do what I'm doing right now. I'm blessed by God. So I'm just trying to let the world know that I should be a good role model. Don't do what I did. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You know what? I'm going to still remain a gangster. Mm -hmm. And that's what I'm going to be. And what it is is what I be. You know what I mean? Insane. Yeah. You got quite the past, man. Um. So, yeah, uh, so you got a couple projects coming out. We touched on one of them uh, uh, at the beginning. Yeah, I never With talked. H. Yeah, well, I got a, a song that's just released. No, released the video, but the single is not yet released because we're trying to do an EP on it. Mm. Like about six songs, you know, the trap that me and H, we produce is the trap. We have an engineer coming in. Um, make the beat mm. so we actually get that beat created yeah, and yeah. it's like a remix of the typewriter but it's on a different it's like a millennium type a mm. remix typewriter it's like shout out to the secret uh, beat maker uh yeah and um you know what's his name secret don't worry about secret <laughs> shout out to new life too all right so what i'm saying is that we did a song you know i did a song on it called general mm -hmm. and um after I did General H create this song that called Brick Day. So actually actually is the YouTube. first one that we work on on the track, um, Brick Day. We did the video of it. Mm -hmm. We have the single, but we actually don't release the single yet because we're trying to put an EP out with yeah, General, yeah. Brick Day, and we get like um, three more of our artists. His name is Victor. He's yeah. right over there. Big Bill, you know, shout yeah. out. Uh, you want to get in here? Yeah, come on, um, Drew. Let's feel up. Come talk to people for me. Um, that's our new artist, you know what I mean? I'm putting, I'm putting him out right now. I'm going to collaborate with him also in our next new song right now. Shout out C. You know who you are, man. You know Shit. It's the time to man. Already know. Shout out to Dope Boy Living, Big Bills, New Life. 
You already know we all here. Welty Boys, Ice City. My bro right here, H Money Productions. It's my uncle Ox. What makes people give you a little 16 though, you know? Sorry, what, what, what was the last man. track you, you just dropped? You got the last Interview. track people can go check? Yeah, I got to you know, put it on YouTube, just working on it. You know what I mean? Engineer working on it. Yeah. So yeah, we're gonna get that put out. You don't got anything out yet? No, nah, not right now. Oh, true, true. You gonna drop something right now then? Drop some bars? Yeah, yeah just give drop some bars. Yeah, yeah. Do whatever. Drop, drop some bars for them? Give me some bars. Like, like 10, like 10, 10 quick, quick. All right, all right. What makes you niggas think I wasn't going to aim the tool? Infrared beam with the scope when I blame the fool. If you want beef, listen nigga, we could do it. Better know how to swim, cause I'm about to leave a pool. <laughs> if you pass your place, you gon' end up toxic waste. Them red shells in the gauge will just dissolve your face. <laughs> Without the guns on the cops, can't solve the case. Cause I got the 357. That don't leave a trace. Oh, oh, they don't want <laughs> That's my nephew. Wow. Oh, 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 shit. Yeah. Man. They don't want yeah, no yeah. yeah. Yeah, so what I'm doing right now, um, okay, I'm, I'm doing a collaboration with him. Mm -hmm. You know, so anytime people see, like, you know, I see the artillery entertainment. Dope boy promotion. Boys, Shout out. Um, like, it's like, we don't like. Put him out on collaboration. Pick up all the Canada strip, that. point yeah. blank. Yeah. I see We'll have to get one done, that. man. Yeah. It don't matter what you do out here, they'll shout you out, man. Well, T Boys, I City, H Money Productions, we all check. And nobody can do better than us in Canada. Chip. We Canadian, Ice. Americanos, we're here now. <laughs> Alright, guys, I got all one right, last man. question. Alright, so. If your style could be translated into a Mortal Kombat finishing move, what would it do to your opponent? If I, what are you saying? If I do a movie and play a karate role? Or your what? rap style. If your rap style could be translated into a Mortal Kombat finishing move, um, what would it do to your opponent? I would probably damage them in a Spanish way and against the way like the way I do. You want me to tell you all? Yeah, man. <laughs> it would be said, Uno does stress, quantity sink aside, you fuck with me, then Uno does say, see, say, Susi, I shall feel all, see, Tamala, wall, if you ever test me, then I kill your mother, father, see, Tamala, you to wear a IT, wala, wall, Uno does stress, quantity sink aside, and the Jamaican <laughs> in a Spanish style. No passport. <laughs> no, no passport. No passport. You right know what it is, guys, Breaker Records Radio. Yeah. And we no are. Blood. Clad passport. La! Shout yeah. out there, all the deportees. No matter where you are in the world, anything happened to you, keep your head up. Yeah. Anybody sure. who fails, yeah. keep your head up. Aye. Right, we out. Ice.